It's not safe to take candy from strangers. But yesterday, we found out about one person who clearly never learned that lesson growing up. And that person is now the president of the United States. And breaking news, stunning words from the president tonight. Trump saying moments ago that he would take dirt on his 2020 political opponent if Russia, China, or any foreign country offered that dirt. That he'd take the dirt and not call the FBI. Okay, this is just crazy, people. After everything this country has gone through, huh? Russian meddling, two years of Mueller, and that shitty Game of Thrones ending. After all of that... <laughs> Trump has turned around and said that he would accept foreign help to win the 2020 election. Like, apparently, foreign dirt is the only import he won't put tariffs on. <laughs> and I guess, in a way, it makes sense. Why would Donald Trump do anything differently in 2020 if he never faced any real consequences for 2016? He won the election. He's not being charged. He's almost definitely not being impeached. Like, from his perspective, using intel from foreigners worked out great. It's like touching a hot stove and getting an orgasm. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't happen that way for most people, but if it works for you, you're gonna just keep touching stores all the time. Shh, ah. <laughs> now, usually, usually, when Trump gets into trouble for saying something, it's because of a tweet that he sends that everyone interprets a different way. But this time, it's coming straight from the horse's mouth. Your campaign this time around, if foreigners, if Russia, if China, if someone else offers you information on an opponent, should they accept it or should they call the FBI? I think maybe you do both. I think you might want to listen. I don't... There's nothing wrong with listening. If somebody called from a country, Norway, we have information on your opponent. Oh, I think I'd want to hear it. Wait, Norway? <laughs> no one's talking about Norway. Norway's not trying to meddle in America's election. Like, what secret information would Norway even have? It's gonna be calling in like, hello, I don't know if you know this, but Kamala Harris likes fjords. <laughs> And also, Pete Buttigieg likes fjords. Oh, and this is a good one. Elizabeth Warren likes small fjords. <laughs> All of our information is about fjords. <laughs> like, well, why is he bringing up Norway? <laughs> and of course, Trump would take a call from Norway. He loves Norway. I bet you if Zimbabwe called Trump for any reason, he'd be like, hello, 911, I'd like to report a shithole country. <laughs> And even when Stephanopoulos pressed Trump on the legality of colluding with a foreign nation, Trump doubled down and then even tripled down. Okay, let's put yourself in a position. You're a congressman. Somebody comes up and says, hey, I have information on your opponent. Do you call the FBI? I don't it's think... coming from I'll Russia, tell you, what, you do. I've seen a lot of things over my life. I don't think in my whole life I've ever called the FBI. In my whole life. I don't... You don't call the FBI. You throw somebody out of your office, you do whatever... Al you Gore do. got a stolen briefing book. He called the FBI. Well, that's different, a stolen briefing book. This isn't a stolen... This is somebody that said, we have information on your opponent. Oh, let me call the FBI. Give me a break. Life doesn't the work The FBI that director says that's what should happen. The FBI director is wrong. <laughs> Whoa. The FBI director is wrong. I guess Trump likes law and order until the law doesn't follow his orders, because that was a weird one. And also, did anyone pick up the part where he says, I've seen a lot of things in my life and never called the FBI? <laughs> now I'm just wondering what other crimes Trump has witnessed that he didn't report. I've seen it all, George. Murders, kidnappings, weirdos tickling kids' feet. But I ain't no snitch! And here's the thing. This is not one of those issues that's left versus right, Democrat versus Republican. No, in fact, even Trump's loyal subjects are calling him out. Some Republicans who are normally hesitant to rebuke the president are speaking out. Yeah, my reaction is he should reach out to the FBI. The appropriate action to take is to call the FBI. Yeah, I think it's a mistake. I think, I think it's a mistake of law. I don't want to send a signal to encourage this. Nothing's free in this world. You don't want a foreign government or a foreign entity giving you information because they're going to want something back. And if anybody knows that, it's the president, because there is no free lunch. If someone gives you information, then they're going to want influence. Yes, the man on the couch is right. <laughs> Nothing in life is free. And I know right now in the audience, you're thinking to yourself, what do you mean, Trevor? Tickets to The Daily Show are free. <laughs> yeah. That's what we told you on the way in. <laughs> but now it's time to pay. Because, <laughs> look, here's the thing. Republicans agree on this. Democrats agree on it. The couch people are saying it. Everyone is against Trump's pro-meddling policy. Trump decided to do this thing on his own, and now 
He's had to get on Twitter to try and do some damage control. It's clear this morning, though, that the president is a bit defensive. He is tweeting about it. I meet and talk to foreign governments every day. I just met with the Queen of England, UK, the Prince of Wales, and the president of Poland. We talked about everything. Should I immediately call the FBI about these calls and meetings? How ridiculous. I would never be trusted again, he writes. Okay, first of all, there's a big difference between foreign nations slipping you dirt on your opponents and small talk with the queen, all right? <laughs> Trump makes it sound like we expect him to be in a broom closet of Buckingham Palace, like, hello, FBI, you won't believe what the queen just did. She farted. <laughs> she called it a butt Brexit, but I know what it means. <laughs> and also, unless Trump secretly met with Free Willy, that's not how you spell <laughs> Prince of Wales. <laughs> that, that's a different thing. But look, man, typos are the least of America's problems right now. <laughs> because the president of the United States has basically invited foreign governments to interfere in America's elections if it'll help him win. And that can be a really dangerous thing that could get him and America into big trouble. So look, to help the president understand how serious this is, we decided to make a PSA just for him. Hello, Mr. President. It's me. Officer Roy, and I'm here to give you tips on how to say no to collusion. I am sexy Russian spy. I use this portable supercomputer to hack DNC servers. Please to come with me and do collusion. Stay away from Russians that are just trying to help. Hey, I'm Canadian. You want to hear secrets about Pete Buttigieg being gay? If a foreign government approaches you, run away and tell the FBI. Donald! I'm a Norwegian with dirt on Joe Biden. I'll trade you for the nuclear codes. Sorry, it's time for my golf game. What? Again? Now you got it. Just say no to collusion.